All right, guys, we're here at the Kennedy Space Center Visitor Complex. Exactly. And right over here, we've got the convertibles and also the C8R. Waiting to be revealed for the general public, being us, because the media already got to see it yesterday. So, see it last night. Exactly. Yeah. But also, we have these more important Corvettes that are right over here. The ones that built everything nice. Yeah, exactly. Look at that. The 53 is beautiful. Man. Nice. Yep. Very cool. And also, you got uh, Neil Armstrong's Corvette over here that has been restored. And it looks very nice. Yeah, interior is beautiful. Wow. Yeah, so they did a really good job on keeping up with this. But, wow. Yep, very nice, guys. So, these are the really cool ones. And over there, we got the new ones. Very nice. Absolutely amazing. Oh, uh, you know, it's, it's, the, the astronaut stories are always compelling. We have astronaut Fred Bregory here. He was telling me he had Corvettes, then he went to Ferraris, and now he's back to Corvettes. And he's in his Corvettes forever. So, you know, and I'd like to thank everybody who, who came today. I especially want to thank the astronauts and their family. But without further ado, we had a little bit of fun last night and a great video we'd like to show you. So please enjoy. We're here in the Rocket Garden at the Kennedy Space Center Visitors Complex. A very special place to reveal a very special car. And to highlight the influence that aerospace design and innovation have had on Corvette over the years. I've dreamed of working on Corvette since I was a kid. I'm excited to be a part of a talented team that is launching this game changer. The first retractable hardtop, mid-engine, Corvette Stingray Convertible. Like all Corvettes, aerospace and jet aircraft are the inspiration for the designers and the nacelles are no exception. They visually echo the passenger seating environment and give admirers a glimpse of the interior selection. In the world of retracting hardtops, that's a bargain. It's a real honor for me to lead this team that's writing this new book on Corvette and tonight we're going to add another chapter with the convertible. All right, Ted, so what do you think about the new CR? I do like it. So uh, even though it's not yellow like you complained about, I yeah. still do like uh, the C8. And it's quite a surprise to see it here. Exactly. Hopefully, I don't know if we'll see it at Daytona or not, but it uh, looks good. And you saw, did you show the people? Yeah, exactly. The details there? Yeah, you get the C8 uh, logo there and the headlight. Pretty cool. Oh, the brakes are beautiful. Yeah. The brakes are beautiful. Yeah. Now, unfortunately, we're not going to hear it start, but you'll see, if you've <laughs> seen this, you've seen all the videos already yeah. of it running, and it sounds really amazing. Yeah. So, but uh, yeah, I like they get the little Jake face over here, mm -hmm. and uh, yeah, I really like it. So, I think yep. it looks good. What are your, you what get, are your complaints, bro? Yeah, obviously, I don't like it because it's not the full yellow color that's iconic right. to the uh, <laughs> racing Corvettes. Um, I'm hoping that this isn't the final paint scheme, but I mean, it looks yeah, good, but, yeah, yeah. but uh, definitely not one of my favorites on the Corvette myself. So hopefully they'll go with the original yellow. But anyways, yeah. then we got the uh, convertible back behind Todd there. Check that out. Yeah, the vents are amazing. Oh, that's the pull rope for the door. Yeah, it is. Yeah. I mean, the little mufflers and everything, it's just insane. Yeah, so. Rear end is definitely very aggressive, very sport car. I mean, being able to see yeah, just like the modern, yeah, more more of the mid engine. Of course, you got the real, real wheels and everything. But see, yeah, basically, the, the exhaust just dumps. Straight yeah, exactly. Out. So that's going to be awesome. Right. That's a good looking race car. It does I mean, look good. So and just think, they were talking 400 pounds of downforce in this car at yep. 180. Mm -hmm. So how much downforce is that going to put down? Right. 
at its speed. Exactly. You know, so with that wing, it's going to be insane. The amount of grip that car has in the track. And imagine seeing that ripping around Daytona. Yeah, it's, it's going to be nice. pretty interesting. It's going to be nice. So, I mean, even in the front the tires where they've got the cutaway. Yeah, exactly. Fenders, you get all that air running through. Right. So. Uh, yeah, all that carbon mm -hmm. fiber. Yeah. yeah. So, what do you think about the new convertible? I like the convertible. Yeah. Uh, almost a little bit more than the coupe to a, ex a small degree. Mm -hmm. But it would be nice if um, I don't know if, if that Z51 over there, but the blue was in the Z51 package with all the different uh, uh, the ground effects package and then the graphite wheels. Mm -hmm. um, I think that would even pop out better. But this, yeah. this variation looks good. And um, I sat on the passenger side both times and it's relatively comfortable. Okay. And on that car, I finally, I think I got the hang of getting out of it and it's okay. not too bad. It's, you right. know, it's, it's probably a smidge easier uh, than the Firebird really. Right. But the, the sill on it is amazing. Yeah. How wide it is. So. Yeah. But uh, yeah, I like yeah. it. And we haven't seen it, but they do have the sequential tail um, yeah, exactly. signals, which is kind of cool to see. Yeah. So. And the tail lights on the R are very, yeah. very good too. Set up, just right. pick it apart. Yeah, exactly. Fuel so cells looks and really all that. Good. Yeah. yeah, exactly. So, and the, the trunk area on this one, or not the trunk area, but the um, uh, the engine compartment is so nice and clean. Right. Did you already get some pictures of that? Yeah. That was cool. That was cool. But that interior with me. Just the amazing detail in the dashboard and the different levels. I mean, truly a, a step up. And C7 was nice. C7 was nice. Yeah, very nice. Uh, C6 was rental car quality, unfortunately, uh, in the interior. Uh, but this takes the whole game to a new level. So mm -hmm. hopefully... Uh, with this, it'll you know Ferrari and uh, McLaren, Lambo, yeah. people like that. They'll actually see it as uh, some competition because I think it will be. I really right. think it will be. Uh, let's see, we haven't heard any of them today. Have oh, we heard this one started? Yeah, it's slightly they, started they, they up just the, just uh, to yeah. move the roof. So, but but yeah. Uh, Other than yeah, that, it looks good. Though. Yeah. So and the, mm -hmm. the convertible's got just a little vent on it compared to the this. Right. But uh, yeah, did you see the? The front um, space. Yeah, there's a lot of space in there. There is. So, yeah. We got the ceramic matrix gray, and then we got rapid blue, and the nice Z51 that you've probably seen already. They had the Morello red seats and the darker red uh, uh, calipers, and that spec was just beautiful. Yeah. Of course, that was probably seventy-five thousand or maybe sixty-nine. Well, Might see, have been the, in the, the mid-sixty. He said it was sixty-seven five hundred for the convertible. Yeah. Right. And then you add on Z51, so that's another five grand ish. Probably. So yeah, it was close to seventy-five. Right. But um, it looked good. So. Yeah. So stage one, we'll come yeah. back and do this again. Yeah. Two o'clock. Yep, so obviously guys, um, I'm still not a big fan of the whole redo of the Corvette. Oh, I mean, non yeah, rather a non-fan. I mean, as a Corvette, I don't like it. As a car that GM has made, it's fascinating. The interior looks good, styling for a car that wouldn't be a Corvette is very good, I think. Um, I just don't like it under the Corvette name tag. I really don't. Um, but as as a sports car and a race car there as well, nice. they look really good. Yeah, so good. as long as as long as it wouldn't be a Corvette, I'd really like this car a lot. But I don't really like it as a Corvette. But very very cool looking car. So oh yeah, that's just solid screen. That's yeah, it is. It's a super screen. Yeah, it's huge. So anyways, yeah, we'll come back and take another look at it. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna go have some lunch. Please, let's have some lunch. So we'll see you guys a little bit later. Oh, that'd be awesome. That, guys, is the most comfortable Corvette 
or car with a Corvette nameplate that I have ever gotten into. Very comfortable seat, guys. So, pretty cool. All right, guys, thanks for uh, joining the video as we get yeah. to see these uh, convertible C8 Corvettes exactly. unveiled as long with the C8 R, which is pretty, which is a pretty cool looking car. Very so. nice, very nice. Very yeah. Fun. So yeah. hopefully you enjoyed the video. We definitely enjoyed coming to see these things unveiled and stuff. So exactly. uh, we'll see, see what uh, designs see and trims they add on. So, exactly. Yep. Yeah. Thanks for watching, guys. Yep. See you next time. See you next time. Bye.